Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about the fixed point of a sequence. And uh, from all the years that I've taught uh, discrete math, it's sometimes easier just to go ahead and dive into an example so students can fully understand what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here it says create a sequence by using the equation tn equals 2 tn minus 1 minus 4. Now, from the previous videos as well as in class, you know that this tn minus 1 represents the previous number. So we're dealing with the reoccurrence relation here. Now, uh, 2, 3, and 4 down here, these are just uh, numbers that we're going to start our sequence with. So what we're going to do, very first thing, is we are going to figure out what will our sequence look like if we started with a 2. So if we started with a 2, what would our sequence look like? Well, if we started with a 2, let's see, that's 2 times the previous number, that would be a 0. And then that would be negative 4. And then let's see, tn, that's the previous number, times 2, uh, 8 minus 4. I believe that is positive 4. And this would be, let's see, two times, I believe that would be 4 as well, I think. I'm kind of going this very fast, so let me just check my work one quick second. And I found a problem when I check my work. Let's see, two times again. This right here, that should have been negative four. It should have been negative uh, 12. So negative 12, and so on and so forth. We're just going to stop right there, okay? Let's figure it out just in case if we started with three. So let's see, three, that's six. That would be two. That would be zero. That would be negative four. And we're just going to stop there because all, all I wanted to do is just to kind of get the first couple of uh, numbers in our sequence. All right, so let's see what our sequence will look like when this is a positive 4, okay? So when we plug in a 4 into our previous number and then we work it out, this ends up being another 4. And then when we plug in another 4, it'll also be a 4. And also be a 4. Also be a 4. It'll continue being 4. Notice that our sequence stays with negative 4 here, to whereas when we started with a positive 2, we were getting different numbers throughout the sequence. When we started with positive 3, we were getting different numbers in the sequence, but with 4, it's the same exact number. So why is 4 so special? Well, the reason that 4 is so special is because it is the fixed point. And it, a fixed point is an initial value for which all the terms in the sequence are the same. So going back to the previous number, or previous slide here, notice that only when you got to 4 was the sequence the exact same throughout. So let me go put that back on. So pause the video just in case if you need to uh, stop and write the notes down. Otherwise, we are going to move forward. Okay, now let's figure out how we found out that that was the uh, fixed point or how 4 was a, a fixed point of the uh, last sequence here. All right, so this is what you're going to do. Uh, for step 1, you're going to substitute an x for t of n and then tn minus 1. So that means this right here and this right here will be replaced with an x. Okay, so I'm going to put an x here and this tn minus 1, I'm going to put an x here. And when I do that, my equation will look like this x equals 2x minus 4. Well, once you get to that point, all you're doing now is solving based on algebra. So I had this problem here, so I had x equals 2x minus 4, and I'm writing with my mouse here, so it's going to look a little weird. So using the algebra, I'm going to subtract 2x, I'm going to subtract 2x, and so that becomes negative x equals negative 4, which means x is going to equal positive 4. So that's how you find out your fixed point. So that means whenever I put in a 4 for my first number and build a sequence off of that, it'll always stay the same number, which would be 4. All right, let's try this. Here's another question. Find the fixed point of the equation. All right, so once again, I'm going to take t of n and tn minus 1, and I'm going to substitute an x for both of those uh, places there. So it's going to be x is equal to 3x plus 2. And I'm going to solve once again by using algebra. Subtract so 3x, subtract 3x. You get negative 2x equals 2. So x is going to equal negative 1. 
which means every time I plug in a negative one into this sequence, it's always going to stay negative one. So if I wanted to check my work, so let me check my work in uh, blue ink here. So if I was going to say negative one was my first number of my sequence, what would my second, third, fourth number be? Let's say plug in negative one. That would be negative three plus two. Oh, that's negative one again. Let's plug in this again, negative one again, so on and so forth. You get the idea. And so the fixed point of the equation is uh, negative one. All right, let's keep going. Find the fixed point of the equation. All right, we have another one. So once again, I'm going to plug in an x in for my t of n. Plug in an x there. And this t in minus one. I'm going to plug in an x here. So you have x is equal to x plus three. Well, using the rules of algebra again, let's see, subtract x subtract x but here's the thing you notice is that the x is cancel so the x will cancel the x will cancel so technically my next line of my equation would be 0 equals to 3 well since there's no x's in this equation which means all the x's cancel out so if the x's cancel out there's no fixed point so that means whatever number you start with you will always receive a different number okay let's try one more and then we'll be done All right, so here's our next one. S of n is equal to 5, S of n minus 1, minus 16. I chose this uh, problem because of the fact that we had S of n. Now, one thing I want you to not get hung up on is the fact that we're dealing with S of n. It's still the same concept of, of using like T of n. It's just a different variable, but the same uh, concepts apply. So let me encourage you to go ahead and pause the video right now so you can go ahead and solve this on your own to see and then uh, uh, play the video again to check your work. So go ahead and pause it right now. All right. Welcome back if you uh, pause the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take S of N here. I'm going to put an X here. And this S of N minus 1 here, I'm going to put an X here. So that would be X is equal to 5X minus 16. I'm going to subtract 5X. Subtract 5x, you would get negative 4x equals negative 16, and so my fixed point will be 4. Well, once again, let's check our work. If I started with 4, what would my next number in the sequence be? Next number, next number. So let's say if I started with 4, that would be 5 times 4, which is 20 minus 16. Hey, it equals 4 again, which means it would be 4 again, which means it would be 4 again. Awesome. Okay, well, there you go. So I checked my work. Everything is good. Uh, my fixed point is 4. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching.